Hello, hello, and welcome back to my backyard, my dude. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a review on tape and extensions. I've had them for a little while, and I think I'm ready to tell you a little bit about the pros and the cons, and get all of this started for you, because you guys have been asking for this, and I promised I would give it. Down below is the link to the website that gave me these extensions, VP Fashion, the same place that I get extensions every single time. Also, I think they have a little deal for you down below, and you can also use my code if you would like to, but let's go ahead and get into this review, because I have a lot of pros and cons about installing upkeep and removing them. First question that I would get, clip-ins versus tape-ins, and what is the difference? Let me show you a tape-in. So for tape-ins, you usually need two pieces, and on one side of both of them, they will have tape. You peel off the tape, put the hair in the middle, and then peel off this tape, and, and these two little pieces will keep it in your hair, and then you can test it to see if it's perfect, but you can only install it one time. You have one chance to put it in perfectly. Or you can take them out, wait a couple days, put them back in for them, because I believe you can reuse these. This is how I preserve my extensions. Preserve? Am I even supposed to say that? I don't know. These extensions right here are clipping. So on one side, you do not see anything. You see some small threading. And then on the other side that you put towards your scalp, we're gonna clip it in, you have this clip. Now this clip, you can move anywhere. So let's say you messed up your cut just a little bit. You can move it slightly in your head for different placement and it'll flow a little bit better. So with this one, this one is kind of, I want to say clip-ins are more of like a beginner. Um, and tape-ins are like, you know where everything goes, how you want things to look. <sighs> Those are tape-ins one time every day that you wear them. Some people want to say that clip-in versus tape-in, tape-ins are more damaging and clip-ins are less, but I think it matters how you take care of it. Uh, clip-ins, sometimes they can cause some damage to your hair. They can. Um, tape-ins, if you take them out wrong or just are like super rough with them, they can probably take out your hair. But I think what people need to keep in mind is that it's attached to your hair, so if you don't take care of that hair, <laughs> it's probably not gonna do good for your hair either. So I can't really say either is really that damaging, but there are times that I feel like clip-ins do cause a little bit more damage. This can easily get taken out by just putting oil in your hair, giving it a couple minutes, and they just slip a rat out. Um, but also keeping in mind that your hair naturally sheds, uh, so there might be some hairs coming out as well, but if you take them out the wrong way, like to say you're just like ripping that shit out, there's probably gonna be a lot of hair and a lot of damage that you're gonna do with that, so. I'm gonna say uh, I'm kinda in between, between like damage for clip-ins and tape-ins. I think it's just how the user treats the situation. Now, installation. For clip-ins, it's every day, and you wake up, you do it, you know. It's an everyday thing, and you take it out every night. Tape-ins, you put it in once, it takes like a couple hours, two to three hours is basically the range that people have given me, but in the mornings, I legit just style my hair, and that's it. I found out that it's way easier this way. I thought it would be annoying going to bed with Tape-ins, but it's not. It's pretty comfortable and I don't really notice them. Clip-ins, I cannot sleep with them. Now for how they look, I'm a little bit mixed about this one and this is kind of where the tape-ins are on the eh side for me. And clip-ins also have their cons as well. Clip-ins, when you put them in your hair, you get like a little bump. So, cause the clip, it has like the clip and then the weft. So it's like this little lump. It's like a it's not that noticeable, but you can see it. Like, if you have clip-ins and you see a bitch with clip-ins, like, you can tell. <laughs> um, so that is something to know about clip-ins. Tape-ins, they're a lot smoother and flatter. Like, this is way flatter. A clip-in is, like, at least that big, you know? So when you put it in your hair, your hair's a lot more flat and natural. And that was the first thing that Alex said about my hair. I was like, I don't know. 
I can kind of tell the difference. And he's like, well, there's no bumps. And like, at first I was like, bumps? And he was like, yeah, when you have clip-ins in, uh, there's like little bumps. I think that's a pretty big benefit. It's not that noticeable, but here is basically my biggest problem with tape-ins. You can see a tape-in. Now, with clip-ins, it has the weft hiding the clip. With tape-ins, you still have this. This color, it stays this color. You can try dyeing it, but it won't really work all too well. But it stays like this. If you're really new to extensions, you'll probably do better with clip-ins than tape-ins. But I really do feel like tape-ins are way more natural, more comfortable, it just a lot of pros versus that, but you have to be able to install them correctly. So I would probably just go to like a hairstylist, have them do it. Another thing that I would like to note, you get to wash the clip-ins a lot less because throughout night, like basically whenever you don't have them in, they're not getting dirty. The tape-ins, if you have colored hair like me, then you're gonna have to probably use a little more dye, shampoo, and conditioner because you have a lot more hair now. I personally think that tape-ins are better than clip-ins because they look a lot more natural, whether it's how you cut them, how you color them, how you style them, they're always going to look a lot more natural, and there's no clip bump. Uh, the heat transfer is a lot smoother because if you're straightening clip-ins and then putting in your hair, it's not going to flow really with your hair, but if you have it taped in, and you washed it, you blow dried it, and you're like styling it with it in your hair at the same time, it's gonna look better versus you just clipping in something and moving your hair to match the extensions. A lot less hair falls out when you have tape-ins um, from like the actual tape-in. Tape-ins, they're completely secure. When you brush it, it doesn't hurt your hair. Um, when you tug on it, it doesn't hurt at all. Like this feels like my hair. It feels like it. I'm. It's just, I've never had such a comfortable experience with tape-ins, so yes, I would say tape-ins are better, but installing them, you have to get it down and right, or maybe go to a professional. But you never have to put them in ever again, but taking them out does take a lot of time as well. I did take one out, give it some time, and then put it back in, so taking them out isn't really that hard. Just put it with like coconut oil or other oils, but again there, because if you think about it, tape-ins are a sticky substance. So if you have oil in there, something to make it easy to slip out, it'll just, it'll just come right out. That's when I have tape-ins. I can't really do buns. I can't really do ponytails too much without something popping out. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't split it down the middle because you're going to have just tape-ins back there. So you are a little bit... You have some restrictions with tape-ins, but you definitely have restrictions with clip-ins. It matters what kind of styles you're trying to achieve. So overall, I would say tape-ins for my personal lifestyle. I think it really matters what kind of lifestyle you have, whether you want clip-ins or tape-ins. So if you wear them a lot, like if you're always wearing hair extensions like me, I would just say go with tape-ins or at least try it out just for like one month because I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly probably going to switch. If you have any questions about clip-ins or tape-ins or any kind of extensions, you can definitely put that in the comment section below. All the links to the products I've been talking about are in the description box and I will see you guys next time. I love you so much, I hope you have an amazing day and journey and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Yeah.